Great Monorail Line. After Tsuka, we will be stopping at all stations beyond. Hey there, Glaxford here. In this tutorial, I will show you how to set up the controller design for Adventure de Go Hashiro, made by Zuki, but on PC. More specifically, in BV5 and OpenBV. Even though it was designed with the Nintendo Switch in mind, it's still recognized like any other game controller by Windows, because it's an HID compliant device. The main handle essentially acts like a left analog stick from a standard controller, but constrained to the y-axis, the neutral position being the neutral position of the analog, the throttle going negatively and the brake positively in the axis. The controller is based on the standard GR layout. There's 8 brake steps plus emergency, and the throttle has 5 steps. This is great because, if I'm not mistaken, it's the throttle that has the most notches in Japanese trains. This means you can basically ride any Japanese train without running out of notches. In some private railway companies, for example KQ, trains have 5 brake positions, so you can still use it just fine. The 6th position being the emergency setting in this case. And sure enough, there is already plugins made by the community that translate the access input to notches. I'll show you two methods that work on BVE5, A and B. Method A it's easier to set up, but not as reliable. I've personally run into some issues, but it may work well for you. Method B it's a bit trickier to set up, but it will give you the most solid experience. If you already googled how to do this, it is likely that the first video you came across was this one. This creator wrote the driver specifically for this controller. However, it has its works, which the author mentions himself. For example, you cannot have the other controllers plugged in at the same time, or it won't recognize the Zuki controller in-game. I can confirm it because it only worked for me once I unplugged my X-Input controller dongle from the PC. Also, the mapping doesn't work one by one with my Zuki controller. As you can see here, this may be due to the nature in how this controller works, where each notch does not represent a button, say for example a gear shifter from a steering wheel. But instead, each notch is tied to a value within a range of thousands of values. And I fear this may not be the exact same for every unit. You will see what I mean in option B. Head over to the author's website, download this driver, now go to your BVE5 installation directory. By default, it's in your program files x86 folder. Go to Makai, BVE TrainSim 5, Input Devices, and place the 3DLL files you've downloaded inside this folder. Inside the game, right click, go to Preferences, click the Input Device tab, and enable this DLL. That's it, make sure you only have the Zuki controller plugged in, and no other controller is connected to your computer. Method B This is the method I will be recommending. Head over to this GitHub page and download the one handle input.dll file for BV 5.8. I don't really call if it's needed, but I believe I had to install SlimDX from here. I don't think you need to reboot your machine, but if it's still not working, then please do so. Now place the DLL in the same directory as method A. Program files x86, Makai, PV Trainsim 5, Input Devices. Inside the game, right click, 
Go to Preferences, click the Input Device tab and enable this DLL. This method works perfectly for me, so in theory it should work for a controller as well. However, I don't know if these values vary from unit to unit. If that's the case, you may have to tweak these values by yourself. These are the most relevant buttons. I've mapped A to horn 1, B to horn 2, Y to the dead man switch, and X to the constant speed. Side note. Constant speed, it's kind of like cruise control, but does not apply the brakes automatically. Only increases or decreases power to the electric motors. To enable constant speed, you need to have the throttle in notch 5 first. Only then you can enable it, assuming the train you're driving supports this feature. OpenBV has recently been updated and it's now bundled with the plugin that adds native support to the controller in version 1.8.2.0. Click on Options, click on Next Page. Here you can see the plugin listed. Just enable it, click the config button to see the input in real time, and you can assign the remaining key bindings here if you wish. And that's it. Thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you found this information useful. See ya!